You, you wrote a book on predictions around about year 2000 and quite a lot of them, especially to do with the mobile internet and specifically in terms of like broadband um, bandwidth that we have now were, were very accurate 17 years down the line. So well done on that one. Thank you. But the pressure's on now. Yep. <laughs> You've set a bar high. So um, in our space, in the telecom yeah. space for let's say the next sort of five years or so. Are there any that sort of spring immediately to mind? Yeah, so I mean, the first one is actually IoT, which we just talked about, right. which is that actually that will grow reasonably strongly over the next five years, and we'll start to see that becoming pretty widespread. And we will have national IoT networks and things like that we haven't got at the moment. So, so that, I think, is something okay. that I see changing. Uh, and also, I think we'll see a lot more um, sort of apps and over the toppy kind of stuff that works really well for leisure you know like cycling it's my okay. hobby places like that um all sorts of new ideas and, and concepts. What, what will those apps do so a lot more sort of interactive social media so you know okay. i might be out on my bike i might get a message saying actually one of your mates is also out cycling if you both head to this junction you'll meet up with each other if you fancy mm -hmm. doing that uh, and by the way you're now three minutes down on your personal best time right. we'd like to ride a bit faster but your heart rate is looking a bit rubbish so, so. Sort of constant interaction and, yeah. and all that sort of thing yeah um in terms of that i think there's a lot of, of stuff to go there but actually that doesn't require any any significant change in the underlying networks so you know, back to the point. Yeah. There's no, there's no rush to rush out. Okay. Um, a five G system. So that, that I think. Will what change. about consumer IT? Is, is everyone going to have a sort of connected home and a smart fridge <laughs> and so that a was, robot serving them breakfast and all that sort of thing? No. Um, so that was the that was the thing I got most wrong in the two thousand oh, okay. predictions. Um, that I said we would have a certain degree of smart home media, and that hasn't happened at all. Uh, and it's interesting to sort of reflect on you know why hasn't that happened? Why haven't we all rushed out and bought? connected lighting systems and connected door locks and connected this, that and the other. And I think you know, the realisation has hit that, yeah, you can do all this stuff, but frankly, you've got better ways to spend your cash than buying um, a smart kettle or yeah. um, the, the apocryphal smart fridge, which is the, exactly. you know, the jokes in, in, in this world now. Uh, so first of all, it doesn't really make enough economic sense for you to want to go do it.